Did you know how scientists find out what elements stars are made of? Scientists use special filters, both on Earth and in space, to study stars. These filters only let specific colors of light pass. This method is called spectroscopy. Every element has a unique light signature, a special color or wavelength. Just like fingerprints, when NASA launches a new probe or robot, it usually carries real spectrometers along with special filters, because filters alone cannot give detailed science. Scientists use different types of spectrometers in space. Some use X-rays, while others use laser beams to study the composition of rocks and planets. When the spectrometer shoots a laser, it melts a tiny spot of the metal, turning it into plasma, a super hot, glowing gas with temperatures of 6,000 to 10,000 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than the surface of the sun. In this plasma, electrons are displaced from their shells and emit light. Every element produces a unique pattern of light, which the spectrometer records. The X-ray spectrometer uses a high-energy X-ray beam to strike the sample. This knocks an electron out of an atom's shell, creating a vacancy. An outer shell electron then drops to fill the empty spot to make the atom stable again. During this process, the atom releases excess energy as a photon. The energy of this emitted photon is unique to each element, like a fingerprint. The instrument then converts this light into numbers or a graph, showing the exact chemical composition of the sample. The brighter the color, the more of that element is in the metal. Spectrometers are powerful and can survive space. They let us explore worlds without leaving Earth.